Kowski for EA Sports. Well, these two fan bases just can't get enough, and they're going to get more with game number five tonight. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And now it's grabbed by Hayden. Gaining momentum up along the side. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Gives them a choke with that hit. The Firebirds take over on possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Hughes. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a chance in front. And that's blocked in front. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Coachella Valley's got it in the neutral zone. Centering pass in front. So focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. The Firebirds crowd has really come to life here early in this first period after that goal. Uh, anytime that you're sitting in the room before the game, you know there's all that energy. Well, they've corralled it, and it has just exploded all at the same time with an absolutely electric start getting on the board early in the opening period. Picks up the puck. Coachella Valley's looking to break out of their own end. Colorado's got control of the puck. The Eagles have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Middleton's got it to the side. Can't get it to go. Coachella Valley's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he takes a shot, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Along the half wall with the puck. Got stopped, hashtag blocked. Awesome. Moves into the slot. Lots of time left in this period. The Firebirds have taken a 1-0 lead. Coachella Valley's won the defensive zone draw. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Coachella Valley's got the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Hard hit, frees up the puck. The Firebirds have it now. Slides it back to the blue line. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This he might have a step here. Broke it up. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Over the line they come. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Eagles gain possession. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Here he is from the slot, and that one's turned aside. Treacher's gonna keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. Colorado's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Hunt's got the puck along the wing. The Eagles take it along the wall. Gives them nothing in front. Too much traffic in the lane. Take it along the wall by Hayden. Slides the pass over to Carrick. The Firebirds play it along the wing. Here he is in front. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. The Firebirds gain control of the puck. Here he is, wrists on that. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. 
tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. And it's picked up by the defense. And they skated out of the danger zone. And that's off a stick. Dumps it into the ozone. Colorado's looking to break out. Poked away in the neutral zone by Carrick. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Eagles gain control of it. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Eagles will play it in their own end. Handles the pass. No room for that one to get through. Wright's got the puck in his own zone. From the left wing, takes the feed. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Olofsson's got it in the defensive end. And now he moves it to Winterton. Drives it to the crease. Oh, and just gets a piece of it to keep it out. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Colorado's got it along the wall. The Firebirds get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Podorowski. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Middleton. Colorado's got it in their own zone. They've got numbers here. Sends it out in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And loses possession after a solid hit. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Taken by Ivan. That knocks it off the puck. Oh, I'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Picked up along the wall by Sikhar. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Coachella Valley's in control of this one so far, Cheryl, wouldn't you say, with a two-goal lead? Absolutely, James, and often you don't see this urgency until the end of the game, but they started with it, and as a result, they've got a two-goal lead. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Oh, big-time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Coachella Valley still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The Firebirds win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. On the attack along the boards. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Shoots it. Beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Feeds it down low. And that's taken by the defense. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Holland. Dumps it in. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck now. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Excellent stick work on the play. Quick pass to Henman. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. To the front, just slide. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. The Firebirds will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. 
Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. And that slides right out to center ice. The Firebirds scoop it up along the boards. And makes the save. Battle along the wall. Cuts lugging the puck. And manages to clear the zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. And it's a quick pass to right. Takes the pass. Oh, the save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one. James and the shooter is all alone. Oh, good for that scores. And they make the most of the time remaining. Well, it's a buzzer beater there. Into the intermission, you know that's carried momentum, but they'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they ended the last one. The Firebirds have created a lot of scoring chances so far, and they lead it late in this first period. The Eagles win the draw here in the neutral zone. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Now is your chance to play clean. Join us at our arena as the first sports and entertainment facility in the well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they're about to drop the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Eagles didn't get off to a great start at all. I mean, they've been chasing the game, and the real reason why they're behind in this one, they haven't had any possession time. Holland's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Takes the feed. Broken up by Hayden. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Tringer's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Eagles still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Coachella Valley's got the puck in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Oh, a clutch save! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Moving into the attacking zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Denies the shooter on that play. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Coachella Valley's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Foodies won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Uh -huh. Nice block. Across the line from center. And it's turned aside by Holm. The Eagles take it across the blue line. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Firebirds play it along the boards. And that's a great hits up play by Hunt. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Great defensive effort with the stick. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Back to the point it goes. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Push back to get the equalizer, and now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. Smart play by the shooter here. The presence of mind to recognize that there's a lot of traffic and put it to the net. And the goaltender, I mean, he can't see this puck, James. We can't see where it is with all of these bodies net front, and it finds the back of the net. Colorado's been right there with them all night long. And look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Great stick work with the steal. And that's hooked away by Middleton. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. 
Grinke's taking it from his own end. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed from the wing. Moves it to Paré. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here's a shot. And his goaltender's not going to like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. And they win that neutral zone draw. Middleton's got it in the offensive zone. Great puck check on the reach. The Firebirds take over on possession. With some open space at center. Coachella Valley's got the puck along the wall. Oh, that hits the cage! That's using your head. Well, that's the type of save they say use everything to get in front of it, James. That jolts off the mask. Maybe a little dizzy after that one. Oh, he'll feel that one. And there he goes as the puck goes free. Huge stop by Trigger. Olofsson's moving the puck through his own zone. And they continue to apply pressure here. And he takes the pass. Coachella Valley's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Here we go, two on one. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and then reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. What a counterattack and brilliant speed to get on his horse and get in on the breakaway, James. And that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Colorado's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. The Eagles win the faceoff. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Trigger. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Eagles have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Musa quickly over to Flurry. Poked away at center ice. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Quick feed to Tuff. Gaining momentum along the wing. His shot from the slot. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Coachella Valley's got it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck. Moves inside! Nowhere for that shot to go through. Hunt stick handling in his own zone. The Firebirds get a hold of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Hunt. Colorado's in transition. Gaining steam here on the attack. Takes a shot. Stones him with the blocker. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Come on, Mark, come on, let's go. The Eagles looking against the hot wall. And there's the save. Denies him again. What a great job of tracking the puck off one but two consecutive saves. Here's a blast! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck. 
Here's a short pass to Schultz. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Shot! Oh, what a close save by Drieger. A critical face-off looming here, and let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tired tender, and on the offensive side, you've got to recognize that vulnerability, and you have to attack the net. Colorado's got the puck. what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Quick pass to Stubinich. Comes up with the stop. The Eagles have it now. Coachella Valley's trying to make something. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down. Got him back in to make it. Fires it on net. Oh, save oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and outwill his opponent to find the puck. Here in the later stages of this period. The Eagles have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. The Firebirds win the draw on their own end. Coachella Valley's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Here's a shot! Denies him! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries Big one too five. many, James, and he loses the puck. Shot! Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Colorado's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. The Eagles will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Puts it on there, and the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Wright's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Stones him in front. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. And that shot dies in traffic. He was locked in there. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. Standing tall with the save. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Poked away by Rinky. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it over to Melanson. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hat Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up an official Team Hat. 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. 
two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Eagles are leading in this game, but I don't know if the coaches are going to like it that much, James. Everyone's cheating on the offensive side of the puck, and it's been back and forth, action-packed game that it's all about offense. Running interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two-minute interference call. The Eagles get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it to Burke. And now it's taken by Ivan. Oh, you I love the effort as he blocks that. Coming to the slot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Scores! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. The Eagles probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Takes a shot. Put the stop. Takes the feed at the point. There's another stop. Goaltender covers up. we got a stoppage in play. Colorado's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. And he's ridden off the puck. Takes it to the net. Decides to think about it. Colorado's on the attack. Puck picked up by Burke. Denies that opportunity. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. The Eagles are on the attack. Quick shot! Makes the glove stop. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Eagles have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. And they'll start with possession. And that's blocked from someone in front. Makes his presence known on the ice. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Fantastic save! And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Here's the pass down low. Back to the blue line. Shuts him down. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Colorado's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Pokes it away in his own end. Change it up. Nice zone entry on the left side. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Firebirds are down a pair. Podorowski's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Coachella Valley's got the puck against the boards. What a steal in his own end. From the wing, is moved to center. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. 
Rangers going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. The Eagles have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Now over to Studenich. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Fires it! Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Holmes! Here's a change. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Makes a move in front. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save on a high danger area. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Coachella Valley's team has really bought into the message from the coaches that you got to get in shot lanes. You got to play playoff hockey if you want to be successful. Into the attacking end. Colorado's got a second unit that's been explosive tonight and a reason why they're on top in this game. And listen, it's a luxury when your coach can look down the bench and look at the second line and see that kind of depth. Works it across to Winterton. The Eagles look to start the transition game. They got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Firebirds will lose a man tripping the call. In a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow! Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Colorado's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Moves it around along the half wall. Coachella Valley's got possession of the puck. Good reach and a stick to knock the puck away. Shot from the wall. Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. The Eagles don't want to take their foot off the gas here in the third period, but they have a lot of padding with the lead that they've built. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Slip feed. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. With possession along the wall. The Eagles will play the puck from behind the net. Colorado's looking to break out. Slides it on over to Middleton. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Off target. You're in the slot, you gotta hit the net. Takes the feed. And that goes off the player in front. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Sends the pass down low. Now a quick pass to Schoenemann. Turn the side. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Colorado's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Takes the puck, but hangs on to the puck. And now it's to Paray. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Gain momentum up along the side. Here's a chance! Directed over to Winterton. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Centering pass. What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. 
Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Collins called for tripping. He's off to the box. Check in with their own Carlin Bain. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Hunt's worked hard, and even though he hasn't been rewarded for his efforts, I still like his game, and I think he's had the edge in our matchup tonight. Gets it out of his own end. There's a shot! And makes the routine save. Stars! They come through on the power play and get it done! And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. Coachella Valley's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. The two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. The Firebirds have it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Great reach with the hook check. Oh, that's a huge stop by Trigger. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by home. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Bodie's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And he takes the dish. And he's knocked off the puck there. Gain the line and on the attack. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Winterton. Big time save by Holm. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Shot. And he comes up with it. Great read by Burke. He grabs the puck here at the point. Grabbed along the boards by Ivan. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Winterton. Moves it quickly over to right. The Eagles have the puck now. From off the wall and onto a stick. Quick feed to Kiro. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Feeds it to Hughes. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes a shot, and he had the answer on that one. Angles it over to Tuck, and that was read perfectly. What a play by Hayden. Coachella Valley's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. A shot the empty net. Coachella Valley's got the puck. Moves it up. That's a solid check on the play. Receives the pass. Colorado's got it along the wall. To the empty net. Oh, and they missed the net. Passes it to McKinnon. Here's a short pass to Studenich. Passes the puck over to Hughes. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Well, somebody's clearly not ready to go home just yet here, Cheryl. Big win tonight to make it a 3-2 series. Another response game, James. I mean, they're staring down elimination, and they put together a great performance to get it done. If you're their opponent, listen, you got to be getting nervous. You keep saying to yourself, listen, we got to get it done. we got to get it done. So the mindset is starting to shift here. And the next game, it's going to be a good one. What a night. you got to love the intensity of the playoffs, and we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at EA Sports.